It's Monday. Welcome to English 10. Do you think it's important to obey the rules of your parents? What do you think will happen if you disobey your parents' rules? Join me as we study the adventures of a father and his son in the story Daedalus and Icarus. After reading the story, you are expected to fill out advanced organizers and textual aids in answering vocabulary exercises and comprehension questions. Are you ready? Let's begin! But first, let's take up some vocabulary words found in the story. I'll give you a word in a box, then all you have to do is find another word that is closest to its meaning from the sentence that will follow. For every word, you're given 5 seconds to answer. The first word is ingenious. The ingenious inventor is such an imaginative craftsman. What word from this sentence is most similar to the meaning of the word ingenious? You have 5 seconds to answer. Great job! The correct answer is imaginative. The next word is labyrinth. Find the meaning of the word labyrinth from this sentence. It was impossible to escape the labyrinth of Minas for it was such a complicated maze. You have 5 seconds. Ready? Begin! Very good! The correct answer is maze. Now the third word is escape. From this sentence, find the synonym of the word escape. How can I break free from all these problems? I badly need to escape. You have 5 seconds. Ready, begin. Very good. The correct answer is break free. Did you get all the correct answers? Great job! We shall now have a short film viewing of the story. Sit back, watch attentively, and focus on the video. Daedalus was a major architect and inventor, renowned throughout Greece, but that did not thwart his and his son Icarus' imprisonment in the labyrinth of King Minos in Crete. Facing the accusations of conspiring against the king, and helped the hero Theseus defeat the Minotaur. Daedalus was accountable for the construction of the labyrinth, and therefore he knew that an escape was unlikely, and even if he managed to escape the labyrinth, Crete was patrolled by land and sea by the army of Minos. After several days in prison, the ingenious inventor had an exquisite idea. He asked his son to collect pieces of wood while he drew the draft of his new project. Daedalus then edifies wooden frames that resemble bird wings. After gathering a good amount of seabird feathers which flew over the labyrinth, he was able to finish his invention using beeswax as glue. He had built two pairs of enormous wings, one for him and the other for his son. Daedalus wears his wings and notices that his invention works perfectly. Icarus is helped by his father to embody his wings and get some advice from his father. Son. Do not fly too low near the sea, in order to avoid having the dampness stiffening the frail's gearings, nor fly too high so that the sun does not melt the beeswax. Stay close to me at all times. Then Daedalus and Icarus take off and leave Crete behind. They both struggle a bit in the beginning, having to face the wind currents, but they quickly master the whole flight. The view from the sky was mesmerizing. They were both in ecstasy. When Daedalus realizes Icarus was flying away from him and at a much higher altitude than his, concern he yells at his son, but the young boy could not hear him. Icarus was dazzled with the flight and was flying with his eye closed, piercing the clouds. He was absolutely intoxicated with the sensation of freedom. The youngster was getting closer and closer to the sun, and suddenly he perceives that the sun's heat was starting to melt the beeswax which glued the feathers and the structure of the wings together. The feathers started to fall, and so Icarus began to lose control of the flight. 
the wings started to crumble, the fall of Icarus was now unavoidable. He falls from heaven while his powerless father witnesses the fatal fall of his son. Icarus violently hits the ocean waters. Daedalus flies to rescue his son, but he only finds feathers in the sea. After a long search, Icarus's father finally finds the body of his son laying on a beach. Daedalus regrets that his invention has been the cause of Icarus's death. He buries his son and flies towards Sicily. Did you understand the movie? Don't forget to read the same story on your learning activity sheets. And be prepared to give the setting, characters, and the parts of a plot. Pay attention to this short recap. You must be ready to answer the rest of your learning activity sheets. You will fill out some graphic organizers including a storyboard. Don't forget to send me a message if you have questions. See you next time!